Stardew Valley has been in development for almost a decade at this point, so obviously over that time, a lot of changes have happened to the game. It's gone from pretty simplistic art style in the Harvest Moon style to its own style, I would argue. Really cool pixel art, you know, lots of features were removed. So today we're going to be going over all of the changes in this video, the evolution of Stardew Valley. And we're going to start right here. Announcement. The Stardew Valley we know today first began on September 1st, 2012, with a trailer released on a Concerned Apes YouTube channel. You can see many features that were eventually added to the game, and many that did not make it in. The art style is drastically different, the crop planting was much more similar to Harvest Moon, where you stand in the middle of a 3x3 of tilled tiles, throw the seeds up, and it plants them around you. We can also see the old beach, the old forest, a different forage rule called a wild strawberry, and the old Leah sprite. We can also see some old crop sprites, with many of them being very different. We can also see the old version of the mines that was cut from the game. Some standout features to me were the treasure chest spawning in the middle of the floors, instead of being on every 10 floors in a bit. We can also see way bigger bodies of water, old quartz textures, and slimes, rocks, and more. I don't know about you guys, but this is fascinating for me to see how much the game has changed, and what big things have changed, and even just tiny little things. A few more things I'll quickly go over is the sprites, they're obviously different, a crafting system where it looks like you have a chance to fail at crafting something which is interesting. We can also observe the marriage scene and see some old NPCs that we don't recognize. And most interesting of all, we can see the old cutscene where you go head to head against your rival and where it decides who wins and loses in Stardew Valley basically. Around a month and a bit later, Concerned Ape posted a full gameplay teaser. It includes him clearing a space on his farm using a sword, going to some sort of workbench and crafting a bunch of fences, and then planting some corn. And for some reason, he just leaves one spot unhoed. <laughs> Kinda weird. It then cuts to the mines, and interestingly enough, it seems as though the minecart system was still in the game at this point, but he needed to use a lantern to light everything up instead of like a glow ring or an iridium band. After that, he heads back into the mines. At a non-multiple of five, he returns on floor 59, I believe, so the elevator system clearly doesn't exist as it does today, you can just head back to whatever floor you originally left on. We also see him kill some monsters and break a bunch of rocks. Hoeing also seems to be a lot more powerful since he found a ton of ores and actually an iridium ore from hoeing. You can also see an achievement pop up in instead of a normal sound effect that plays. After that, he goes down a ladder, fends off some monsters, and begins to fish. Then the video ends and we can see a terrifying sun with a haunting smile in the background. Co-op teaser. A few months later, Concerned Ape released a demo of co-op, which is ironic since it didn't launch with the game in 2016, and actually came out like a year later after launch. Anyways, in this video we can see Eric talking with someone named Amber, I believe his girlfriend at the time, now wife. They started talking and chat a little bit, then planting some corn together. <laughs> CA also mocks the second player for the weird hoeing pattern, which I personally found hilarious. After planting all the corn, they moved to clearing a patch and wow, that is fast tree chopping. Did they have animation cancelling back then? Weird. Then, finally, they decorate a room together, which is pretty cool. Then, a few years later, we get to see another gameplay trailer. Things have changed substantially at this point, as you can see we have a completely different art style, complete overhaul basically, although the characters still seem just a little bit off. Not sure why, if I'm being honest. Just something about them haunts me. Anyways, we can spot a bunch of crops like cauliflower, kale, potatoes, beans, onions, radishes, and parsnips. We can also see some flowers and a cute chicken. The stone owl was also visible, a cool hint that it exists, since keep in mind, when it was released in 2016, it was actually insanely rare, and in 1.5 it got buffed, so now pretty much everyone knows about it, but back then, or not necessarily back then, but back in 2016 when the game came out, it was still insanely rare. After that, we can see a bit more mining gameplay, and it looks a lot different, but not as different. The main thing that stood out to me personally was the sword swings being overhead. It just looks very unnatural and weird to me. After that, it shows a bit more general gameplay, Play, like farming, the train coming by, Jojo Mart, art events, the fair, and more. The official release. Then, on January 29th, 2016, a final trailer was released, and a month after that came out, on February 26th, the game was fully released. I'm not gonna go over this trailer too extensively since it's basically just Stardew Valley. <laughs> But don't click off, we still have 5 more years to go through. In its first month playing, it peaked at over 60,000 players at one time, a record it didn't beat until years later with the release of the 1.5 update. 
A little while later, on October 3rd, the 1.1 update was released. It added a lot of new things, like different farm layouts, each one focusing on a new skill, some new buildings like the shed and the, the mill. It has too much stuff to go over here, so here is like 10 seconds of some of the biggest changes. New quests, added obelisks, moving buildings, NPC care about quality of gift, cook coffee, new fish, divorcing, balance changes, and a ton of bug fixes. The full change log will be linked below because we just don't have time to go over it all today. A little while later, the game was ported to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Awesome port, as there can never be too many people experiencing Stardew Valley. Unfortunately, this does this does mean that Concerned Dave has to port updates to another platform, which might be annoying for him. A little bit after the initial console ports of Stardew Valley, it was also ported to, no to Nintendo Switch, so you can now enjoy Stardew Valley on the go, too. The multiplayer update was finally released on August 1st, 2018 for Mac, PC, and Linux. Console, of course, had to wait longer. The 1.4 update. Between October 3rd, 2016 and November 26th, 2019, we obviously had a ton of changes besides like just multiplayer, but it's just too many to go over. We went between versions 1.1 and 1.4, and there was a ton of iteration like 1.1.1, like 1.1.2, etc. 1.69, funny haha, I'm kidding, that didn't actually happen. But anyways, the 1.4 update. The only change I mentioned between this time period was multiplayer, but it's just too much stuff to go over in between, so we're just gonna skip straight to the 1.4 update. The 1.4 update added a ton of things and fixed a lot of stuff, and I mean a lot of of stuff. A lot. Many. Other synonyms. Just like me doing this subscriber plug should add a lot to my subscriber count. Subscribe for more Stardew Valley related stuff today. But yeah, like so many changes, it would take a 15 minute video to read them all out. All you need to know is that it happened, people loved it, and it increased player numbers a ton. The 1.5 update. On December 21st, 2020, the update was released and it revived Stardew Valley like no one could have seen coming. It added an entire new island, so much new content, it was basically an entirely new game. It also introduced so many YouTubers and streamers to the game, meaning it grew even further. Amazing update, 10 out of 10, I love this more, please, I beg you. This isn't really an evolution of the game, I thought I would include it anyways. February 23rd, 2021, I still remember this day. My phone buzzes. No, it's a YouTube notification. Concerned Ape video. Oh cool, he doesn't upload often. A board game? What? The game sold out instantly, as expected, and it doesn't ship to Canada, so I couldn't get one unfortunately, but it looks super cool, and if it does ship up to the Great North, I'm gonna get my hands on it. The art is amazing, I love all the characters in the sixth style. It's super cool that he's branching out of just video games and into like board games. Maybe Haunted Chocolatier will eventually get a board game that'd be sick when it of course comes out. And yeah, the evolution of Stardew Valley, or like the history of Stardew Valley, whatever you want to call it. Hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe 100k. Um, bye.